This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. We are at the Photo Booth Expo 2015 looking at a lot of the cool new stuff. And gang, this is one of the hot things from this year's show. We are at the Darkroom Software booth right now, and I've got Brian here. Brian, tell us about one of the big announcements you guys made at the show. So our Darkroom Software uh, has Darkroom Booth. Uh, we're coming out with a version 2, which we hope to uh, deliver uh, in May. And Darkroom Booth version 2 has a lot of new features we're really excited about. Um, one of them is we've got uh, Facebook integration, and this is what we call client and user integration. Um, what we're really excited about is the seamless client integration where it'll be really easy for you to set up Darkroom Booth so that you can post directly to a Facebook event, page, album, gallery and you can do that all right within our software and oh, it's very nice. really simple and automatic so you're not asking the uh, participant to do anything they just as they finish the images go up there um, you or someone else uh, can be checking the uploads on Facebook remotely, like with a mobile device, and yes. you could delete anything that is uh, inappropriate or not yep, necessary. Exactly. Um, so that one we're excited about. We also have uh, integrated MMS support. What does that mean? We can text the photos right to people. Um, so even easier than an email address, people just put in their phone number, and we can text the photo right to their phone. And Very nice. Once they have it on their phone, they can do anything they want with it. Now, will that picture be watermarked so that people will be able to see that it came from your show? Yes. The one thing that's kind of unique with Darkroom is it's real easy to create uh, what we call templates. So you could put anything you want. You can put a background on there if you're doing a green screen event. Um, you could have an overlay, your watermark, website. Yeah. You can do all that. And, nice. and you don't have to have any special skills. You can do that right within the software. And you can text them a a photo that, um, or uh, you know, a strip that looks different than what you're printing. So you may print one thing, like a two by six strip, but you're going to text them maybe a square file so it shows up better on their phone. They may want to post that to Instagram, sure. Twitter, whatever they want to do. But once it's on their phone, they can send it wherever they want. And again, they don't have to hand you any passwords or usernames or anything like that. So it's Sweet a idea. real easy way to get those pictures out there and share. Nice. Um, the other thing we're really excited about, um, and it's going to be interesting to see how a lot of the booth builders uh, utilize this, is uh, fidget support, which, um, you know, a lot of people, what? What's, What's a that? fidget? What's yeah, exactly. I've never heard of that. In a nutshell, it allows us to very easily control things in the outside world. So anything that you can turn on or off, okay. you can set Darkroom Booth to turn on or off. So when somebody starts a session, you can have your LED lights turn on. Okay. Um, uh, you know, you can have a light on top of the booth that goes, you know, like a police light. So when somebody's sure. using the booth, you can see a light goes off, you know, a fan starts blowing. Um, we've had people hook it up to vending machines, so when they finish a booth session, the vending machine drops out a candy bar or something right. like that. Um, so that's really cool. And, and anything that you can turn on or off, you can have booth control via the fidget board. It's a little circuit board, plugs in USB, um, so you can turn anything on or off. Wow, um, neat. Really cool. And, and what we do that's different, it's all just point and click. So mm -hmm. it's real easy for a non-technical user to go in there and say, oh yeah, I want to turn Relay 1 on whenever they exit the booth. or you know. Yeah. You can do things like that. So that's really cool. The other thing we're really excited about is we have a quiz and survey feature. Okay. So survey could be like at a trade show. Um, people are coming into your booth and you want them to fill out a survey before they start their session. So, you know, are you a photo booth owner? Are you a DJ? How many years have you been a DJ? What's your favorite brand? So you can just kind of gather some information and you require that before they do a photo booth session. Okay. Um, so that's really neat. A lot of people, some people, you know, do some fun things at weddings. You know, who oh, do yeah. you think is going to start the first fight? And, you know, or, you know, you can ask some funny questions. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you can have that for later in the evening when you could do the survey. Right. Our, our so survey so then we have results and say, can you believe that 88% of the people think that John is you know, going to be the one that does the laundry? Or you, yeah. know, you can do some fun stuff, stuff that you yeah. can integrate into the event later. Oh, yeah, that would um, be fun. So survey, ask questions. We have a quiz mode, which is like survey, except there's right and wrong answers. Mm. Um, so this could be for trivia or if you were doing an event um, where you kind of wanted to drive home some branding, you know, you know, who sells more computers, HP or Dell? And, you know, mm -hmm. if they get the wrong answer, you kind of say, no, nope, you got to start over. And um, so you can kind of have some fun with the quizzes, which, sure. again, same as surveys, there's right or wrong answers, and we can have high score and the leader, and you can say, okay, whoever got the most most right answers gets this and you can do those things before or after the session so trying to add a little more entertainment value to the booth 
and um, either you know something fun and a wedding or it could be something that you know from a marketing standpoint if you're doing some other kind of event or party that you, you may want to collect. Yeah. The other thing we're working on this will be a little bit down the road but uh, the ability to integrate with other cameras um, some higher frame rate cameras to do slow motion uh, type things which is uh, which is you, you can really have some fun with, but yeah, you, sure. you, you can get messy too. People use water balloons and things like that, so you, uh, yeah, you, you kind of want to be careful where and how you use that. But it's always a good option to have the, the more flexibility with the, the right. software can definitely it's, help people. Exactly. So uh, another uh, option we're going to have shortly is integration with GoPro cameras. Mm. The GoPros are kind of unique in that they offer high frame rates, so you can do slow motion video with them. Um, they're also good enough resolution to take still photos. Yes. Most people know they have pretty wide angles so you can do some unique vantage points and angles yeah a lot of them are waterproof so uh, you know people have ideas to do things you know underwater they could do things in environments that you wouldn't normally put a photo booth yeah. um, and um, you know especially at uh, you know outdoor events where it might be raining it's you, you know you can set up an enclosure that would that would work really well and it would give you some really unique photos the other thing we're working on is animated GIF or GIF support yep. um, so that we can send that again via email or we can text that to people or post it to um, different sites and you can do some really fun stuff where you switch between the four photos you animate the background the foreground um, so you can do some really some really neat things that uh, it's a way to share four photos or multiple photos in a single file nice and uh, if you text that to people it does uh, show up on their phones um, nice. so it's it's uh, some really neat and um, you know, just gives you some more options on, on ways to share the photo in, in, a, in a way that's uh, uh, really unique. Yes. And as I've been hearing people talk about, they've been watching the demos and things, and they've been really, really impressed and really excited, I think, for the second version to come out. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's something we've been working uh, long and hard on. Uh, we're at uh, version 1.5 right now. Um, so for anybody that's bought uh, this year, this will be a, a free upgrade. And uh, for people that have had the software for a long time, uh, we, it's going to be a very reasonable uh, upgrade fee. Nice. If people like to find more information or where they can go to purchase, where can they do this? Uh, the best place to go is darkroomsoftware.com. That's our website. Uh, we do sell a couple different products, so if you're interested in the booth product, uh, it should be pretty easy to navigate. You'll see workflow products and booth products. Uh, and there's more information than you'd, you'd ever want up there. We've got videos, tutorials, uh, links to forums, a manual. Everything um, that you need. And of course, we're always available via phone, uh, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And um, so we're pretty easy to get a hold of. Sounds great, Brian. Right. One of the cool things here at the Photo Booth Expo 2015.